Hello all, Onigato here for Oni in the Garden. And we're going to start over here, where uh, this is the, for me, a four-day weekend, because I now have Fridays off, Memorial Day. Friday, I installed gutters. This morning, it rained. It rained pretty good. Installed gutters, got the downspout, installed the downspout, and uh, filled a 55-gallon drum. So, there's that. In fact, I think I filled it so well that this crossbar that I was using to hold that up so that the glue could dry is now completely useless. So I'll be using that to water the garden for a little bit. Uh, wow. Impressive. Okay. Did not expect to fill that up overnight. As for the rest of the garden, uh, not much more progress was made on the uh, aquaponic system, but should be over the next couple of weeks. Uh, Indian paintbrush, slowly starting to die back. Um, I think I'll be able to keep it going for another year or two or three or more, because it seems to be perennial in this area as long as it's well maintained. Beans underneath, we've actually gotten a bean off of it. I think I see a couple more growing which is good. Over here, not much going on. I did knock down one of the asparagus, that one right there, um, but it seems to be doing okay, so that's fine. Uh, I still don't know what these flowers are, but they're pretty, and it looks like the plant is meant to fall over, so I'm not worried about that. I am missing a fern. Uh, one of the local uh, Facebook group garden group uh, people who said I need ferns I keep killing mine I don't know why and I was like I don't use it I don't particularly care for ferns have a fern the beets are doing quite nicely I have found a way to keep the water uh, keep that particular side hydrated uh, turns out that the main hose the valve at the end does not seal so if I keep the, uh, the hose itself on a very slow drip, it drips and it fills that up, but it doesn't drain out. So it doesn't you know, waste the water. All right, over here, this thing, given to account the fact that it is in a raised bed and everything, it is still impressively tall. From the root base to the top there, that's at eye level for me. And I'm seven foot tall, just to give you an idea. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a tall plant. Uh, I do see spots that could turn into flowers and hopefully turn into fruit. Because it's nice and big. It's nice and big. It's time to go from getting big to getting fruitful. Over here, this tomato is doing something very similar. It's getting nice and big. So, yeah, that's great. I remembered what I planted in the middle here. These are radishes. I'm about 90% certain they're radishes. And then across the back there, you just kind of see them. Those are, uh, that was a seed tape. Burpees, what are they? Uh, mini bibs or, or something along those lines, bib, bib lettuce. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, over here, watermelons. Got one that's look like, looking like it's doing okay. The rest of them aren't doing too hot, but those seeds are pretty old, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, pumpkin is um, taking over. <laughs> there are still some lettuces back down here. If I can get them to... There we go, just pull some leaves off occasionally and I want, it sh I want it shaded, but not so much so that it goes, you know, kills them off. 
All right. Well, that is what a pumpkin is really meant to do in terms of gardening. It's meant to provide so much shade that it acts as a mulch, which is why it was planted last in the Three Sisters planting. Corn first, you let the corn get to six inches. Corn gets tall enough, strong enough to be able to hold up the beans. You plant the beans, the plant beans climb the corn. Once the beans are starting to climb, plant the pumpkins. Pumpkins act as ground cover, keeping all other plants well away. As you can see, the vines are just beautifully huge. And here's the other plants. Okay, they're coming up. In here, the cucumbers are doing okay. I can see flowers on a couple of them, or on the big one here anyway. And it's getting nice and tall, and it's just going to climb itself up and be very, very happy. I can see the other, one of the other ones is back there and in need of, well, trellising. So before it dies of sun starvation. Kept getting promised rain, kept getting promised rain, so I didn't water as much as I should have. I've lost the potatoes. I want to leave them right where they are. Leave the pots and the plants. I'm not going to bother pulling anything up. If more potatoes come up, then good. If I don't get anything by next, say November, I'll either try again or I'll get something else in there. Let's go around. Let's see. Like I said, it rained overnight. It rained pretty decently. But the blackberry. So I've been using Roundup. I know most people don't really like Roundup, but it is useful for getting rid of vines and similar things. And as long as you're not using industrial quantities of it, it's fine. All right. And the blackberry. I can still see some fruit on there. So I think I'll send the wife and the kids out to uh, harvest it one last time. But it's pretty much done for this season, which is, you know, just fine. It produced somewhere around uh, two and a half, maybe three pounds of fruit over the entire season. And that's nothing to sneer at. That's a pretty decent harvest from a plant that's only a year old. So, yeah, uh, as you can see, it is getting tall. Tall enough that it will eventually top the fence. And then I'll just run it laterally the length of the fence. And woe unto the person who decides that they need to run the cable to fix this cable line for my neighbor that has been down for about two and a half years. Because <laughs> they're going to have to go through the blackberry bush and we called them, we told them about it multiple times. So, yeah. All right, oh, it's been three years now that that cable's been down. That line's been down. Let's come back around here. Showed you the potatoes already. I don't think I'm gonna get any lavender, although I might, that's, you can just barely see it, but there's a little seed there. I think it's raining again. Back here. Snails. Hate snails. Uh, not seeing any actual peppers yet, but the pepper plant is uh, is getting assaulted apparently. Damn snails. There we go. Yeah, they're chewing on it pretty good. Um, but I am seeing lots of flowers. And lots of flowers in the... Right there. In the bed. So, yeah. Like I said, I don't see any actual peppers. But... I do see some flowers that are falling off without losing their little stem connections. So, maybe. Maybe. It's not like it's not it's uh, lacking for sun because in the afternoon the sun comes almost straight on from the side plus it's uh it'll get some sun almost from directly overhead so 
It may not be getting as much sun as things in the front, but yeah. I think now that the bed is filled up, or at least mostly filled up, I think what I'm going to do next year is I'm actually going to go really, truly three sisters. Uh, corn in two rows, front and back. Beans, uh, uh, runner beans or vining beans this time, rather than the uh, bush beans that I tend to do, because uh, I can do that. Beans, though, um, planted at the base, and then pumpkins or some other form of squash in between to act as ground cover once everything is at least six inches tall and not volunteers like this because <laughs> this isn't happening the way it's supposed to. I am seeing a lot of flowers though, so I'm kind of happy about that. All right, talk to you all later.